Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that are important to us but may not be important to you. <laughs> I am I'm Robert Cop 1, Luis De La Torre. I am Robert Cop 2, the furniture of law enforcement, Adam Grin. I am Robert Carp, Robert Carp 3, the worst out of the three original <laughs> movies, <laughs> but not as bad as the remake. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Very good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, before we continue on... Who was uh, also in the movie we're going to talk about today. Oh, yeah. Who was what? Joel Kinnaman. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. He, yeah. was the, he was the Robert cop. He, he was, was the Robert new Robert cop. cop. With a human hand. With a, <laughs> which made <laughs> no <laughs> sense. So yeah. We should, should we review Robert Cop? Ugh. No. I never, I never saw it, actually. It I keep remember. calling it Robert Cop. I, I can't call it Robert Cop. <laughs> uh, before we continue, right. let's give a shout out to our, our wonderful sponsor, uh, Cosmic yes. Comics. The jewel of the Mojave Desert. Guys, everything that your nerdy little heart desires is right here. And right. guess what? I know this is a timely thing, but Free Comic Book Day is coming up. That's true, yeah. And you That's can true. get your free comic books right here at Cosmic Comics. That's true. Along yes. with all the cool stuff that they sell here. Yep. Like, uh, let's give them a taste. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> Speaking of Robert Cop, Robert we have Cop. this San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Robert Cop 2. If you don't know what it is... You should probably look it up. Yeah, go- Google. <laughs> it was kind of a famous bootleg, but this is actually a RoboCop Two figure with Kane's brain, but yeah. relabeled as Robert Cop Two, and it is a where's the there it is. It is a Comic Con exclusive. We He's have old. that in store. Yeah, He's the furniture just, of law enforcement. He's just, the only one here, right? Yeah, that's the only one we got. Yep. Oh, so don't come take get it out of the box. Get it while it's hot. Yeah, don't take Robert Cop out of the box. Take, uh, if it's still here in thirty days, I'm buying it. <laughs> Not if I see it first. Yeah. <laughs> what you got? Uh, okay, so I, this is, I have I have Elric, I have the last part of the Stormbringer saga, nice. or of the Elric saga, Stormbringer, um, by Michael Moorcock. It's it's oh, look at this thing. It's wonderful. Can you just Michael Moore? Look at that what? artwork. Michael Moorcock. Oh, okay. I thought you meant for noted I, fantasy writer of the Elric series, which uh, predates The Witcher. True. That's that a whole true. thing. Yeah. That I really am regret true. getting into. <laughs> yeah. I am so torn at this point. But you can come read the original uh, Elric right Elric. here. I think do you, do you guys have the other ones. You probably do, right? Uh, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, there we go. What, what I got you, that. What, what right. we got? We got these cool new boxes from NECA. Retro X Men. Look the, at that. It has this Alex Ross art in it, and you know, if you're an X Men fan or if you're an Alex Ross fan, this might be good for right. you. Right. Yep. Or and both. Where's Wolverine? <laughs> yeah. He wasn't in the Retro X-Men. Are you sure? I also have the latest SH Monster Arts oh. Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, the Kong. King Kong. Oh. And I can tell you, if you come into the store, you cannot beat this price, not even online. How, how much um, is it? This is currently currently selling for... What's the price? Oh, I didn't put it on the actual 89. box. 80, yeah, eighty nine ninety nine. That's a steal? For an SH Monster Arts, For an SH Monster Arts, Arts it yeah. is, guys. That, yes, that's what I was go- getting at. These these it, figures are expensive, so it, 89 bucks figure. is a... They're so very good figure. figures, yeah. Did I see that? Because I have it. Tony has it, too. It's so good. I have them posed <laughs> in my desk. Well, yeah. I, well, I don't want to feel left out, so I'm going to get it, too. Oh, okay, he well, even comes good. with his plus one kaiju smiting Yeah, yeah kaiju smiting axe. Yeah, yeah okay, that's cool. He's got two heads and a bunch of different hands. Yep. The, w- the way I have him posed with Godzilla is it's the part where he's about to like shove the axe in Godzilla's nice. mouth. Nice. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't actually do that to the figure, but <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> what else you got? Or is that it? Uh, no, that's it. So that's uh, it. come right. on down. We got a bunch of other stuff besides this stuff. We do, yeah. We got a yes. bunch of books, a bunch of pops, graphic f- novels, figures. Up the yin yang, yeah, you know. and like I said, free comic book days coming up. So come get free comic books and then buy stuff. Yeah, this should be airing the Monday before, Monday morning before. The Monday morning before. So you have time to... August 18th, August 14th. 14th. Yeah. So you have time to, uh, you know, get, get, uh, get stuff in order, get, get some... Get uh, stuff. Yeah, get your, uh, get your, get your suntan lotion on your, some, some sunscreen, (laughs) right? Get some water, make sure you're hydrated. I sure hope they... Heat stroke. I sure hope they go back to Maine next year. (laughs) Yeah. So there you go. Cosmic comics, and as an added bonus, that day only. In the, if you come in the morning, you could meet all three of us. We will all be here that oh, morning. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, that'll bring him in. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. He was like, "Oh God, now I'm not going to." Hey, aren't you the guys who work here? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you don't work here, but you'll be here. Yeah, but they'll think I will. And, yeah, that's, well, that, that and, and by then, there. I'll be happy. Like, yeah. If they at least think I work here, it'll be right. fine. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, so we are going to do uh, another movie review, this right. time of James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Just came out last fr- Just Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Tony, with that, with that, does that sound about right? Yes. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Okay, so this is weirdly the it, sequel it's not, to is a sequel, well, but it's not Squad, a sequel. Which yeah. is the sequel to Suicide Squad. Somehow, yeah, they yeah. Didn't I guess name they, them very they retained a lot of the the first movie stuff, I think, yeah. but they just didn't it's really like reference it too much. Yeah, yeah. It's a soft reboot slash sequel. Yeah, which True. they. Which uh, actually, they were supposed to. They were supposed to give Idris Elba the part of uh, Deadshot originally. Yeah, but then they were like, "No, but what if Will Smith wants to come back?" Everybody likes Will Smith. Everybody likes Will Smith. Uh, Genie from that live action <laughs> reboot, and I, he's blue. Like, he's the guy who raps happy. I, like I, like I, Doctor Manhattan. I think the biggest problem with Will Smith is I think he, as an actor, doesn't ever want to be portrayed negatively. Mm. So it's like they really softened up what Deadshot should have been in that first yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just not cool. No, he was a bastard. He was a bastard. Yes. He was a bastard. But thankfully, Idris Elba is not afraid to be. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> did. That we way. did get kind of like a <laughs> bastard-ish uh, dead dead shot in the form of uh, um, Bloodsport. Was it Bloodsport? Blood Sport? Yeah, yeah Bloodsport. So there's that. Okay, so do you want to get the good stuff out of the way or the bad stuff out of the way? Bad. Uh, yeah. What do you start. think there's more of, and then we'll do the other one? First. There's more good stuff, I think. There's more. So you want to start with the bad stuff? Right. Let's start okay. Let's start with, with the bad stuff. All right. What do you got? Uh, what do I have? Yeah. Um. um <laughs> you know, I I don't know. I think I think the movie worked as a whole. Um, can what, I? What is some bad stuff? I can I ask you a question? Well, some of the bad stuff I'm thinking of is tied to good stuff. So okay. it's kind of hard to separate them. Right. Can I ask you guys a question? Like, wh- what were you expecting? Were you expecting the movie to be any good? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I expected more out of it than the first one because of mm-hmm. James Gunn. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Although I really am not a fan of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I That movie is terrible to me. Mm, yeah, it's not um, the greatest. But, uh, you know, the first one was fun, and I figured he had a lot more freedom where he didn't have that on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah, this movie was so. v- extremely gory. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, well, don't, yeah, don't show, don't yeah, show this not to a, your kids. Not for kids. Yeah, this is not uh, for kids sh- whatsoever. My little sister was in the theater with us. <laughs> 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 but, wow. But um, uh, You scarred her for life. Yeah. I mean, I sh- I've shown her worse. Like, I, she, she, oh she saw other James Gunn movies like <laughs> Super. I have, uh, actually, Tr- I Tromeo seen, and Juliet? Oh, God, no. I, oh, I, yeah. that's, that's probably that, for that, the best. That's the limit. That's too much. Something like. So she can psychologically handle it. Something like Slither, Super. Slither is good. Right, Burnham was done by James Gunn's. Relatives, well, he didn't. But, he didn't. Yeah, direct. But that, Super, yeah. I was expecting it to be a lot like Super, where it's like hilariously grim. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, as far as bad, yeah, I don't know. Um, like I said, the bad stuff I'm thinking of is sort of tied to good stuff, or at least tied to the skill of James Gunn as a director. I got so one I can mention. Yeah, well, go ahead. Basically, the, I felt like the only character who didn't really need to be there was that rebel leader who killed the general. Like she didn't really need to be in the movie. Um, kinda. yeah, I think it did feel like they didn't play that big of a part or as big a part I, as they should have in some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, true. You could take her out of the movie completely, and it wouldn't have made any difference at yeah. all. Other than I think you know it was supposed to paint the Suicide Squad in a more sympathetic tone because they were fighting for the people. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get that. Mm-hmm. Um. What do you got? Anything or? As far as bad, um, <clears throat> no, not uh, not really. Honestly, I think this movie was like it. It it wasn't like it, like the first movie was extremely serious. It took itself extremely serious, yeah. which would have been fine if it wasn't like DC dark, <laughs> which which I I didn't like. But this movie Snatterized. was like this. Yeah, this movie <laughs> was like a light, gory. Aff- it's it's odd. It, it's it is very James Gunn. Yeah, with its like with its cute with its comedy cues and like he is good it's, at striking it, yeah, it's violence and stuff tones, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it permeated throughout the whole movie, which right. I think really helped it. And yeah. of course, there's the cameos, which are pretty cool. Like if you've noticed them. Yeah. Uh oh. Did oh. you not notice <laughs> Nathan <laughs> Fillion? Oh yeah, of course. As, as TDK or yeah, as t- Arm Fall Off Boy? Yeah, yeah. Arm Fall and, Off Boy. Um, yeah. And James Gunn's brother was Calendar Man. That's right. Yeah, Calendar Man. Like, I did notice Calendar Man yeah. for a moment that you'd have to pause. Um, Lloyd Kaufman's there. 
creator. Is he? Yeah. <gasps> I miss Lloyd really? Kaufman. Yeah, creator of the Toxic Avenger. Of course, yeah. And oh, Tromeo and, Tromeo and Juliet. And Troll Materials. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't see Lloyd played, Kaufman. Uh, I'm bummed by it. It's like that. four seconds. It's like it's like in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. You only see him. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to like really pause and take a look to notice him. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's favorite um, Pete Davidson was there. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a negative that Pete Davidson was in it at all. <laughs> but again, that's tied to a positive. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like that guy. Um, something about him just ugh, rankles. My, we don't have to get into it. Rankles my feathers. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I get it. Um, you know, I maybe King Shark was really dumb. <laughs> Are you just mad because he was Sylvester Stallone? No, I didn't have a problem oh, with that. Okay. I love Sylvester Stallone. No, I know you like Sylvester um, Stallone. Yeah, I just... It was just the I don't know he's like too dumb. <laughs> he, was he was too. I think he was, he was like too dumb. I think yeah. he was dumb enough. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> dumb enough. He has more character and personality than the, the CW version of him. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> well, then that's something. Oh boy, the CW version. Actually, CW version of a lot of DC characters. There's a CW version of King Shark. There is. Yeah. yeah. And he's more voided. What is it? What is he? I remember in? seeing the Flash. Yeah. Oh, he's in the Flash. I okay. Seeing the yeah. Clip, but I don't. He's like his personality is like. Near non-existent. In oh, really? In the CW version. Is this more like an animal? Yeah, animal that has like arms and legs. Maybe five lines of dialogue. Uh, now, to be fair, I'm not. I never was a huge DC guy. Is King Shark pretty dumb in the comics? Uh, from what from what other shows I've seen, like I know he made an appearance in the Batman animated series. Well, I mean, even the comic was he just kind of a. Bug I don't I remember being I being that dumb? like that yeah, dumb. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Real. I know in the Harley Quinn cartoon, he's pretty smart yeah he builds like websites and does social media in the cartoon but yeah i just you know it's 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 kind of what they did to uh kang or what is that his name what dave batista oh uh oh drax drax Drax. where did i get kang Kang the conqueror yeah no i was really messed up drax yeah which except the problem with drax and guardians of galaxy he was literally useless at least king shark wasn't useless he actually was strong and he could do things right drax should have been that strong and he was just like a normal dude yeah he got except green yeah (laughs) except green yeah was he a normal dude just because he didn't do anything spectacular i think they didn't give him anything to do well but even then he was just like he wasn't because drax is like He's like heavy hitter level. He's no, like of course, Ben Grimm Hulk level. He but what I'm saying he is didn't he didn't convey he, any of that. Yeah. They yeah. never gave. Movies. He never got the opportunity yeah. to do those things in the second movie. It just seemed like he or was even in the first movie. Yeah, he just got his butt kicked. Yeah. In those yeah. movies, or mainly in the first, he was one. just like a dude with knives. That's yeah, all. Yeah, dude with knives. Yeah, he's I mean, a dude they already got a character with super strengths. That was Groot. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. and Drax was supposed to be the 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 muscle of the team, and he really he really wasn't at all. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Okay, but so King Shark did some stuff. So, yeah, so let's just awesome. talk about the synopsis real yeah. quick, just to get into yeah. so to get people into this. Uh, so it takes place after the, the first the one. first Suicide Squad, which Presum- apparently is yeah presumably kind of like a the couple years the, yeah like a se- like a sequel or a prequel de- to that. Definitely after Birds of Prey, since you know it seemed like it was after boomerang. Birds of Prey because yeah. she was definitely anti. There was a something early on. Because was it a tattoo or something she wrote on a sign where basically. It was pretty well defined that she was no longer with the Joker. Because Birds right, of Prey, right. she, she broke up with Joker, right. and there was which a little, oddly no. was a very entertaining movie. And there was a terrible nod, Birds yeah. of Prey movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was entertaining. Yeah, we went to we yeah. 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 there was a nod to Boomerang and Birds of Prey. Like Harley was like, "Hey, I know that guy," yeah, and it alluded to Boomerang making a return. And um, speaking of Boomerang, do you want to go to over the opening scene in the movie? Um, do we want to go there yet? Do we want to start in? Do we want to get into spoiler territory? Uh, just, I mean, I think we should, but just real quick, just so that we that we can sort of lay down like a baseline for people. There right. is uh, the Suicide Squad are put together again by Amanda Waller, right, to mm-hmm. infiltrate a tower called Jotunheim, which has something called Project Starfish, right. Yeah. Um, there will be spoilers, so just yeah. make sure Buckle that you're up. aware of that because Buckle up. because they fight uh, Captain Carrot. <laughs> is that his name? The, what was the name of like the Superman bunny or the the Marvel? Uh, no, that was uh, from that Elseworld. Yeah, and he like his last appearance was in a death metal tie-in. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so they get a whole new Suicide Squad together, and uh, the first the opening scene is pretty Standard. pretty spectacular actually. Yep. Like it was everything I thought the first Suicide Squad movie should have been, which is people should have straight up died. Right. Yep. Yes, and that and that's and that leads into the very first character you see who gets a very good intro. He's clearly sort of the mm-hmm. 
he portrayed as sort of the hardened soldier whose skills haven't diminished despite his age. And yep. Yeah. Yet, despite everything, he's like, F this. Yeah, screw this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I like how it, like, yeah. it, you at least get enough time to know this team before. Yeah, you do. Wiped. <laughs> before they get like, just. At first, it starts shredded. on all standard, and mm. then. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. That, I, I think that's that's what I think that's part of what made this movie great. Is like it, it, it sort returned of, to it, the original. Yeah, like squad. Yeah. it made you Which was like to kill a bunch of old yeah. B it made you villains, it yeah. made you think a certain way right. and then subverted that expectation. It did, yes. And then in, at other moments it made you like somebody enough to where like their death actually meant something. That's true. Yeah. Compared right. to the first movie where only two of them died. Yeah. From my and you know who it was. You knew it was gonna die. Yeah. Now you now that being said, you knew who wasn't going to die. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's a spoiler, uh, which I was surprised when somebody did die, only to find out he didn't in the end credit scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, most, mostly because of the character, not of who it was. I mean, the character was that pretty the scene despicable. Where Nick Fury asked him to join the Avengers? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Y- you know what you said? That's that's exactly what I was thinking. Is you know, certain deaths were very, certain deaths and certain scenes were very predictable. Mm-hmm. But James Gunn was skilled enough to almost like one, two, or even a one, two, three punch where he would hit you with something unexpected. Then the, then the predictable scene would happen, or the predictable scene would happen, and then he hit you with something really unexpected, like right yeah. after it, which I really liked because he's aware. It seemed like he was very aware how predictable certain scenes were whether he was forced yeah. to by studio requirements or what yeah. right you know and i like that i thought that was really cool i love yeah i love that idea that like in in opening right at the opening is you get michael rooker as savant yeah and he's sort of like he's like your he's your point of view into this Re- new into suicide, suicide squad yeah, yeah. and then just dies 20 minutes into <laughs> right, the movie right, right. like just straight up dies 20 yeah. minutes yep. into the movie yeah. Um, so like it, the, the fact that he just yeah. di- unexpected that's what the Suicide Squad comic was you yeah. didn't know who was going to bite it by the yeah. end of the comic and yep. yeah for those who don't know the original Suicide Squad was a comic that basically featured a lot of Silver Age B villains yeah and just to basically go on suicide missions and to kill most of them off almost every issue yep. yeah which is a great idea yeah, right, why yeah. not why not use your right. b people roster yeah. to make like a cool comic yeah. book yeah and, and i like the fact that i don't know how amanda waller was in the first suicide squad but she was much more like the she seemed like she was the original comic version oh yeah in this one she yeah, was yeah, yeah, she yeah. was a nasty human being uh-huh. yeah, she and she was, was in the yeah. comic she mm-hmm. was brutal yeah. Well, that was the thing is she could be. She was a very powerful fit. Right. Like in the first movie, in the first movie, yeah, she came off that way. But in this, I think the second movie really drove that point home. Like oh, this yeah. is not. She yeah. doesn't have she's power. She nice. doesn't need them. Yeah, she's, she's not nice. Yeah, this is not yeah. a person to mess with. Right. Yeah. Um. And she, Viola Davis, by the way, is is oh, yeah. fantastic. Oh she, yeah. She plays that role so Especially well. Especially when she's pissed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. it's so good. She's awesome. But yeah. yeah. Some of the villains that are killed off in the opening scene. Yeah, my God! Uh, I like that they killed off some of the regular. Well, what you would think of would be a regular. Yeah, I yeah. thought. I, I definitely like thought that, Boomerang yeah. was going to be in a, yes. a lot longer, but my he God. dies in the he first dies, twenty yeah. minutes. Yeah, I mean, you knew Harley's not going to die. Yeah, but Boomerang, yeah, she's like DC's like she's one of DC's big money makers. Yeah, right? yeah they're but not. Boomerang gonna kill was her. like a main player in the first yeah. movie, yeah. and yeah. he, you know, flash one of Flash's arch nemesis. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and he just bites it. And I was yep. like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. At least he got one scene with Flash. Um, you know, Nathan Fillion with his absolutely ridiculous character. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was great. That when he did, ta- he, okay, so he's basically, his name is TDK, which I'm not quite the sure what that means. Detachable oh, kid. De- the detachable kid. The, da- the detachable which kid. Which the original is yeah. supposed to be, uh, arms fall off. Boy. Which we, we talked about. Which we that. talked yeah. about like a couple episodes ago. Yeah, oh, actually yeah. a few episodes ago. Yeah. Um, the where, yeah, villains, the same yeah. thing. His arms just yeah. detached and he sent them out and you thought he was going to do something cool, but then he just like. Three stooges, yeah, like some of those mercenaries, like slapping them around and stuff. <laughs> so they eventually get their wits about them <laughs> yeah, and just shoot his, shoot arms. his arms. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's pretty terrible. Um, yeah, uh, of course, Pete characters, uh, Pete Davidson's character, which we just talked about, he eats immediately it right there. died, and I was yep. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, Michael Rooker Savant uh, yeah. bites it there. Which Weasel. was kind of that was. I mean, it it wasn't. I mean. You saw it coming a mile away, but it was kind of like, oh. I, I first was, of all, I like Michael Rooker. I do and like second Michael of all, Rooker. I like, 
I liked Savant in the 15 minutes we got, we got to spend with him. Yeah, I, uh, listen, I was expecting him to like just like snap into it. Like He was watching everything blow up, and he was just had this look on his face, and I'm like, oh, I'm ready for him to like snap into it, get <laughs> into action, he's, he's do something cool. And he's up. just like, ah! He's just runs, this. He tries to run off, yeah, yeah. and you do get to see someone's head get blown off. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Which surpri- it surprised me how violent and gory and just sort of like the, all the adult kind of content that was in this movie as compared which, to the, any which, DC movie. Which, which led to some of the, one of the cooler sort of uh, comic book narration word uh, balloons or whatever with his blood when his head blew up. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they did that a couple times. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Like whenever they would like name a location. Yeah, like, yeah. It would be Meanwhile. Like, or yeah. It, it yeah. would be like the debris or like it would be blood. Yeah, or yeah. So. yeah. It was good stuff. Yeah, like the coolest that. one was like all the twisted like metal and like stick that were kind of sticking out of like the destruction. And I think it said like later, yeah, later on or something or like three that. Three days earlier, or three, three days earlier, and three then minutes like, earlier, or something it like that. It zoomed up yeah. and it was all like just garbage and like you know like yeah. rebarb and twisted metal and yeah. stuff like yep. that. So yeah. um, there's a lot of that in this movie. It's so highly style. This that's I think that's what makes this good. It's it's very stylized. It's which, highly stylized. Which. That's how the first Guardians of the Galaxy felt. Right. Much mm-hmm. more than the second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It felt like its own movie where the second felt like, well. Part of the MCU. Part of the t- the bad yeah. MCU. <laughs> bad MCU. <laughs> the way it was going, yeah. With, down there with Thor 2. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. And then, we, then, of course, we get introduced to the actual team. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, what did you guys think of that? <laughs> the actual team being like um, uh, Bloodsport, Bloodsport, and all them. Peacemaker, um, Peacemaker, Peacemaker. Peacemaker. Yeah, I do like Peacemaker's introduction though. Like, oh yeah, so he does exactly what I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, oh, I just do it better. <laughs> Peacemaker is a douche. Oh god. And yeah. honestly, as as much as I, I I'm not a huge John Cena fan, but yeah. man, did he play that part so well. He, he played did. that part yeah, so well. Did. It made me like him a little bit. Yeah. It made me like him a little. He did bit. a good job. Playing I think a he did a good job. Human being. <laughs> He did, yeah. He was yeah. pretty despicable. He would yeah. kill men, women, and children in, in the, the name, name of freedom. In the name, in the name of, of peace, liberty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a hero for a lot of people in this time. And he's one of my personal favorites, Polka Dot Man. Polka Dot uh, Man. Polka Dot Man. <laughs> um, I liked him. I like that actor. Yep. I, I know his, he voices Calendar Man. His sort Man. of sub... Yeah. He voices Calendar Man in the Long Halloween cartoon. Oh, does he? That's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. He, uh, he's also wasn't he an Ant Man? Isn't he one of the yep. one of his criminal one of the yep. oh that's right he the is. criminal friends he's in also Ant Man yeah. he was also in the Dark Knight yeah he wow, was one of the for him. he was one of the guys he was the guy that Batman or not Batman Harvey like, Harvey Dent was trying to interrogate in back of the armored vehicle yep. yeah and he was just laughing and Batman's like yeah there's no point his in mind's him. broken yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah. he'll yeah. give you nothing yeah yeah um, uh, but yeah he was good I I, I really liked and, and I like Ratcatcher too. I liked the way <laughs> Ratcatcher yeah she was cool. Um, I really liked how his backstory really played into the humor. It seemed to it work. It permeated <laughs> well. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like it was comedy relief, but it was done so well. Like it, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't overdone. It wasn't yeah. like. Well, it, it was, was. It was, but I don't. It worked. I don't think it was no, as like overdone as it could have like been. Like when he'd see everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Like that just, was I mean, really listen, great. there's spoilers in here. So this guy yeah, has yeah. got a big problem with his mom. With he's got his mom, mom yeah, issues. Who, who literally made him what he is. Yeah. yeah which is not. Which is not a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Interdimensional viruses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, he imagines everyone as his mother. It's because he wants to kill her. Yeah. So there are scenes where you see things from his point of view, and everyone is his mom. What is funny is. Yeah. I think the funniest Even one the was the villain in the end was his I mom. Yeah, was, was his mom. Yeah, I think it does pay a little homage to D- James Gunn's other movie Super, where um, the Crimson Bolt, when he's like watching his wife get drugged by Kevin Bacon, like he all of a sudden he sees like PNG cutouts of Satan's head, like covering <laughs> Kevin Bacon's head and all his henchmen. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. what the? Hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. I liked him. He was good. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Ratcatcher was cool. Ratcatcher too. I think he was she the was most always very sleepy. sympathetic character. Polka oh, yeah. Dot Man, yeah, Polka Dot Man, because he was a victim. I, yeah, he was a victim. Yeah. yeah, he was quite literally a victim, and that was done him. well. It was yep. put together well. I just love his <laughs> face, this guy. And they're like, dude, what yeah, the, like, what, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? It's not contagious. Yeah, it's I know. Right. I know. I had read that James Gunn was like he was like the stupidest villain I'd ever seen, and I wanted to make him s- sympathetic or at least like. Yeah, he was. He was. So, well, it he worked. worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now you just got to get Condiment Man up in there. <laughs> yeah. Or right. Condiment King. Pace, or is it Condiment pop, King? Yeah, Pace Pop Pete. Pace yeah. Pop Pete. Let's do a Pace Pop Pete movie. Like, already, yeah. I want 
like no already I like this version of Star Labs more than the CW version because right like if someone as evil as mom works at Star Labs I'm like okay is this movie movie universe version of Star Labs evil <laughs> because I would I would prefer well that. that's I remember Star Labs not always doing good stuff <laughs> yeah really um, yeah huh. and you just depended on who you were talking to and right. what they were working on in Star <laughs> right, Labs. Right. Like, I just so happen to be working on the Starro project. And, <laughs> right. Oh, I'm helping Superman. Right. Like, okay, well, we don't know where we're at, so. Right. Um, yeah, so the big villain, of course, being, uh, by the end of the movie, being Starro. Star and then, um, of course, Harley, in much the similar style as uh, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn sort of has its own sub movie going on. Yeah. Uh, it's effing yeah. fantastic. And it's really yeah. good. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. I got to say, she's really sold me as Harley Quinn. I, yeah. I can't. I mean, I, I, I like Margot Robbie anyway. Yeah, so. she's good. Yeah, I feel like every movie where then, she's Harley Quinn, she just gets like better and better yeah. and better. And this, this, <laughs> this version was so good. This version of Harley wow. Quinn is great. It's wow. really especially good. like yeah. the culmination of her brief relationship was just like yeah amazing. Yeah, like her it, trying to be a healthy, better person. Yeah, <laughs> it is. A, it is. Uh, I don't want to. I don't know. It I don't want to spoil that. I don't is, even want to spoil that. No, no, don't spoil that. So it is yeah. far. Her character so in this movie is far and away All from right. the one in the first movie where she was just kind of like eye candy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like in this movie, she was like she's taking. She action, was a substantial yeah. force. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it was great. Action and then I loved it when she gets out of there and they just, they're like, we're coming to save you. That was like a great scene. She's like, I, I can go back in. Yeah, you can go back in. You can save <laughs> like me there. She was, yeah, touched. She was so she touched. Was so yeah. touched. Yeah, that was cool. Mm-hmm. That was really cool, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, she joins up with the team and becomes part of the team at that yep. point. But, um, yeah, I don't I, I, I don't know. I'm hesitant to spoil too much. Mm. I mean, it's pretty obvious who the big villain is, I yeah. think, at this point. Well, I think the they, they If you even get on the other, other online, you're going to see it. But and, Well, there's also the thinker. Yeah, who worked on Starro? He was cool for you know uh, Peter Capaldi. He he really didn't have much of a part, and I yeah. think that's probably why James Gunn picked him mm-hmm. because what little he had, he was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and Thinker doesn't really have any actual powers except right. that he's really smart. Right, right, with a bunch of spark plugs in his head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was cool. Peter Capaldi, he had the he had the right strength or force of personality to at least make the character. More oh, than what those oh, few lines were. Oh, yeah. I'm sure someone said this is a comic book villain, and he yeah. was like, "I got it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. No, yeah. I got it. Yeah. 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 I liked. How I can't do his accent well, but he's yeah, yeah. Scottish. Yeah. I liked how like the goal gradually changed when you find out. Oh, is it okay if I go over this part? Like, what was Amanda Waller's true intentions? Basically, to cover. Oh up right. The US it was cover up. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was their, a cover um, up. Unlike yeah. in the first movie, it, was it wasn't like, oh, to stop the threat. It was no, a cover up. Yeah. yeah. To protect the U.S. government, yeah, mm-hmm. that was good. Yeah, I, I was think really so. Good. So the big thing was this: like, I think yeah. that the Suicide Squad in this movie made more sense than in the first movie. Oh, the yeah. The first yeah, movie, definitely. Suicide Squad, was, was, was yes, was well, it was dumb because they were put together to what to stop Superman. Uh, no, Superman, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, to stop well, Su- who's gonna stop Superman? In that group. Yeah, the girl who can flip and swing a hammer. The guy who shoots good. Like, who's gonna stop <laughs> no. Superman? Right. Yeah. I kind of felt the same way with this one since Starro was supposed to be like a Justice League level villain. Yeah, but yeah. the way they handled it in this movie was so good. Yeah, because it made more sense once it all played out. Yeah, she, especially she when didn't Starro, give a crap about Starro. Yeah, especially when Starro started to control a whole bunch of people. Yeah, and of course she compartmentalized the Suicide Squad, which led to Peacemaker not being such a nice guy after all. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like when just just when you different think Peacemaker different people might be, had their own orders. Yeah. yeah, just when you think Peacemaker might be a good, somewhat of a good person, especially when he starts working with the other members, all of a sudden it's like, no, my job is to make sure that information never gets out. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, he's actually a bad bad person. <laughs> he he a was bad. a bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's very very well right. Right as right, right, right as, as right, 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 you right as you can be. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. yeah he's a very, he's very <laughs> much a, he's very much a hero for like the parlor crowd. <laughs> right. Yep. Right. Um, but he, but John Cena played that part so well. He was, I yeah. think, I think it's, I think part of it is the look. John Cena does have that very like, very American like and kind oh, yeah. of look. Yeah, you know well, what I mean? Like blue very eye, blue eyed blonde. Yeah. 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 So big, but, big white guy. <laughs> yeah, and he's you know yeah. what? Like he's not actually a bad dude. Like yeah. I'll give him that. He's not. A, I'm not. I'm not a fan of his, but he's not a bad dude. But like, man, in this part, he was it's so good. Perfect, it yeah. actually made me like him a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love their standoff between the two. It was going back to the other joke where he's like, "How, how did you do that?" And he's like, "Smaller bullets." Smaller bullets. <laughs> which yep. is which is with some dumb, stupid line that Peacemaker said earlier on. Yeah. Yeah. I do like the. I like the. One of my favorite scenes was where him and. 
um, I keep blood sport yeah, are like basically either, like yeah. infiltrating cool, this though. place where they had Rick flag and they're basically like in competition with each other, <laughs> killing <laughs> right. people. Who could do the better oh, kills. oh yeah. The, yeah. In, the introduction to how competent the suicide squad actually was, yeah. was so good. Not <laughs> only because the scene was good, but the finale of that scene was like, Oh, oh shoot, yeah. Like dude. we really messed yeah, up. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Our bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really good. Yeah. I think moments yeah. like that. Yeah. Really when they were trying to outdo each other, that yeah. was good. Yeah, yeah, one of my yeah. favorite parts. And one of the reasons why this movie is way more better than the first one is that when they decide to stop Starro, not because of <laughs> oh, right, like, yeah. not not because they're following orders, but because it's the right thing it's to the right do. It's the right thing to do, yeah. yeah well, but but I mean like way more natural than in the first one, like oh, they go to the bars like, okay, let's stop Rick's girlfriend and right. save the world. But I mean, and even then, like they, they didn't do they didn't stop Starro for altruistic reasons. Yeah, in the w- end, he ended up not doing the right thing so that they could benefit, right? So right. the information about Starro or about uh, the U.S.'s involvement they were protecting in the Starro yeah. yeah, program. Yeah, but at the same yeah. time, they wanted to like, save the city from Starro. Right, right, right. Right, but again... But they had the, their own... They had their own agenda, yeah, and that's right. what they used that whole thing for. So, like, it it, they used it vibes, man. It's still, like, they're it's, still bad guys. Yeah, they're still bad they guys. Want, they don't want a bunch of people to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Necessarily, so. yeah. Right, yeah. so like it's a very good Innocent balance people. of like yeah. they're still bad guys, but you know, like it's still a, it's still a superhero movie, right? Right, so yeah, um, that was good. Yeah, I did yeah. like that. The Starro, what did you think of Starro? Oh, it was I, so perfect. Starro was really <laughs> cool, and I liked I liked how you know James Gunn in his way made him somewhat sympathetic. Although with I'm, just the one, he was like a space whale, one right? Lying, the one dying line. <laughs> he was like a space whale. You know, I was happy. He? Just, look, just yeah, like, just floating happy, around space, floating looking at the stars. There. You know, yeah. and then it makes sense because they did sort of go out and get him, and then they immediately strapped him down. Yeah, <laughs> it's like damn. I'm not sure how accurate it is to the comics. When like, no. okay, when, oh no, he was when, a when conqueror. Starro attack, yeah. attaches someone to his face. Does that like kill the person instantly? No, I d- yeah, I don't. No, think it, so. it didn't. Or, like, I, it didn't. And does Starro like still controls dead bodies? Or in this, yeah, in this, in version, this version, Starro yeah. was reanimating them. Yeah, yeah, because like you got to see like some uh, autopsy scenes where like someone's face was all peeled off. They clear, yeah, they clearly the took the star off, and there was shape, nothing yeah. half of their skull the front half of their <laughs> yeah. skull is gone yeah, yeah. Like, star Wars was like controlling someone who was like missing half their whole body yeah. like, well even God. even thinker said like no they're already dead yeah. which was pretty once the big city scene when it just slapped on all those people they dropped yeah. and then it was a good 30 seconds later before the, uh they became puppets yeah this uh this is a very gruesome move again this yeah, is a very, very gruesome, gruesome yeah. so so yeah. like maybe you should stop before you show it to somebody who's queasy or children this is definitely <laughs> yeah. not for not them for children yeah. this is definitely not for them um so he, here's a thought that i have with this movie right yeah. i think i think dc is in a very i think they're in a very precarious position right they're in a very yeah. i would say even favorable position where they don't have like the same sort of reach as a Marvel movie, right? Yeah. Which has to appease a certain audience, right? Like a Marvel movie can't be too gory or too yeah. violent because you're you're True. marketing it to all ages. Yep. But DC is in this rare place where they can put out a movie like this, right? And, it can and it's a, a lot more money. dull and still make like, a, like a lot of made money. Way more money than Passion of the Christ, from what I can remember. <laughs> Joker. Yeah. The Joaquin Phoenix movie. That was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they're in this sort of position where they can do these kinds of things to appeal to a much more mature audience and maybe find their niche there as opposed to trying to compete with Marvel. They could, like, focus on other things than just, like, the mainstream, oh, superhero of the year. Because, (laughs) okay, for Marvel, even though they're branching into the multiverse, they're still doing, like, oh, Spider Man, Shang Chi, uh, Eternals, just main superheroes for the main MC universe. And for, like, what DC has planned, like, you get, I don't know, like, Earth 2 Superman, the Batman, which supposedly is supposed to take place in Earth 2, the Robert yeah. Patterson Batman. You got an upcoming... Not that I have a problem with him. I just... There's other aspects of that movie that don't gel. You got an upcoming Batgirl movie on HBO Max, an upcoming oh, really? Blue Beetle movie that's going to be Jaime Ooh, Reyes. I did hear about that one. Um, yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah, they're mainly focusing on, like... You know, things aside, just Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. It, it well, seems the main versions. Yeah, of them, at it least. seems like they could really build on this, but I think you know there was one problem I noticed right at the beginning of Suicide Squad that makes me wonder, and that's that Zack Snyder apparently is still sort of a producer, a producer, a him, main, him a main guy. Did he produce on this? Yeah, yeah he was executive producer, and I just I don't 
trust that guy's vision anymore. Mm. Army of the De- after Army of the Dead and the, oh, yeah. the, his version of Justice League, which admittedly was far better than the than Joss the crappy Whedon Joss Whedon cut. It still wasn't good. I, it I still like had a lot book. of issues. It I, was uh, still way too much going on. Mm. Yeah. You know? Well, whenever I well, I mean it was good. It just wasn't. I haven't rewatched that in a while, but like it's whenever not, I do like play it, I just try thinking of it as watching a double feature. Like, okay, you gotta put in mind that this used to be two movies. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just I think, you know, I think like James Gunn, assuming he's given I assume he had a lot of control over I, I believe well, he had a lot of controls squad, over, over a lot Guardian. of aspects of this movie. Mm-hmm. Over Guardians. Which, over Guardians too, yeah. certainly. Um, because, you know, like you said, the scene with Sonya Braga, who I love, by the way, so it's yeah. good to, always good to see her. <laughs> even though, even leader, though you right? could have literally taken her out of the rest of the movie and it wouldn't have mattered. Like you could have, but like that was all still there, which which suggests that he had final cut. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like there could yeah. have been a scene where Star Wars just killed all those guys instead. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think if they were smart, they could really build on this. I just don't think they will. <laughs> I, I, I like. <laughs> I, I think I'm saying there's that. this untapped market of like adult, like superhero yeah. movies, yeah. and maybe and like trying to compete with Marvel at this point in that sort of same yeah, all audiences genre. I don't think I don't think I, that that you can compete at they, least not anymore. I think they could if well, I think they could for two reasons. One, because I I I don't. I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but I think Marvel peaked on the Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and, the best and political Civil War notch. is good, but then after that, they most of those movies are not good. Yeah. Mm. They're um, average. Yeah, they're I know, okay. but they're a lot okay. of people like them. But yeah. there's some serious problems there, <laughs> which we could spend a whole episode talking about. Oh yeah, and then um, <laughs> and then on top of that, I think because of that, that coupled with, you know, if they if they took a different I guess a different angle or a different tack with how risks. they're presenting hmm. their heroes. Yeah. You know, Superman, you know, they keep, I don't know what they keep trying to do with that poor guy. <laughs> but when you're talking about a movie, draw draw inspiration from the old Christopher Reed, which objectively is not a good movie. But there's a lot of good things about the movie. Yeah, sure. Which, Cri- Christopher Reeve being one of the main ones. Which is what but I'm hoping. But then also, that, oh. you know, I'm sorry. Let me just finish. Oh my yeah, thought. I'll let you finish. And then like draw from All Star Superman. Yes. I mean, yes. That, those yeah. are the kind. Of, that's how they need to portray him. Mm-hmm. And they, you know, Zack Snyder's version or vision. Oh yeah. Man of Steel. Like what the. F- <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because. Yeah, go ahead. Which, what I'm hoping that this new Earth Two version of Superman does over Zack Snyder's version is instead of going the route like, oh, having these powers suck and people are gonna hate me for being Superman. Instead of going yeah. over that, go over like, okay, Superman is an alien immigrant and yeah. no matter what, he's still gonna do everything he can right. to help people. Instead right. of in like in Batman yeah. Superman, or like Superman like he just gives up midpoint like yeah. maybe the world doesn't deserve me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is not okay. Yeah, you know well, what I'm saying. That's no, I that's where I was trying to go. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so Suicide Squad. Back to Suicide Squad. Yeah. It is definitely an adult movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do yeah, expect yeah. like goriness and like I think there's I think you see someone's genitals at one point. Yeah. Yeah. One it's of the guys genital. in the camp gets shot and his pants were down. Oh, that's yep. right. So yeah. yeah, you got a nice <laughs> big old <laughs> eyeful of uh, <laughs> this guy's genitals. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Strip club scene. That's there's right. A strip club yeah. scene. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think I was desensitized. That was good. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, anything else we want to say about it, or are we ready to wrap this one up? Uh, you want me to like give my? Uh, oh yeah, um, yeah. Go where where it goes got? in my top ten? Oh Disney yeah, DC sure. Movies. Which movies? For top what? ten what? Uh, live action DC movies. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> That's easy. Okay. Listen, just start your list off at ten <laughs> and go backwards. Okay. And I'll tell uh, you if I agree with you or not. Actually, you want to go fifteen? <laughs> yeah, no, just no. go. Just do you want to go? Yeah, wait, yeah. do you want to go? Fifteen? Is this just DC movies? Yes. Oh wow. Is there, are there fifteen DC There's movies? More, was there any? I no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go, give, go, it, go. give it. Give it. Honorable mention: Steel. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> oh, God. No, I don't want to hear your list anymore. You've already <laughs> lost me. Okay. Steel. Yes. Steel, yes. Yes. Shaquille O'Neal. I actually like that movie. Oh boy! Okay. I watched okay. that as a kid and oh. I hated it. Whoa. I watched it as a kid, <laughs> and I liked the Keaton Batman I, as a kid. So, ugh. yeah, I okay. I love the comic book version of Steel. I did not love that movie, <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, go right. ahead. Fifteen, Wonder Woman eighty four, fourteen, Superman two, Richard Donner cut. Uh, yeah. Thirteen. Oh, you're t- you just mean like all easy yeah, all them DC all, movies. Okay, I see. Live, live action specifically because I added the animated movies. Oh my god, it would be oh, like yeah. too yeah. long. A lot of them are great. <laughs> uh, Thirteen, Dark Knight. Twelve, Batman Begins. 
11, Batman the movie. Oh, wow, 66. Batman Begins is a Wait, which, of which Batman? Oh, 66. 66. 66. Yeah. Okay, great yeah. flick. Great T- flick. Yeah. 10, Batman Forever. 9, Batman 89. 8, Aquaman. 7, Shazam. 6, Wonder Woman. 5 would be Justice League. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Snyder on. Cut? Hold on. Yeah. Tony. Tony, <laughs> Aquaman's on your list. Yes, I, I oh, like come that. Tony, <laughs> Aquaman's on your list. That movie straight up sucks. I never saw it. It <laughs> sucks. I know dude. a lot of women liked it. Dude, it <laughs> my girlfriend scenes. and at the time and myself, we we yeah, rented yeah. the movie. We watched it halfway before we were like, "This is stupid," and we <laughs> just <laughs> never <laughs> finished it. And to, and to add insult to injury, I kept forgetting to return it to the red box, so I got uh, I paid basically like eight bucks bar, for that movie. Bucks. Uh, Go so ahead, anyway, continue. Yeah. continue on from Aquaman. All right. Zack Snyder, Justice League. Number four, Superman Quest for Peace. Number three is sui- The Suicide Squad. Okay, hold on. Why is uh, why is the first Wonder Woman so low on uh, your list as opposed to... Because where, where was it at? No, no, not 84. The first one. The first six? Wonder Woman. That's what you're talking about, right? Number yeah. six, yeah. Is yeah. that six? Yeah. Okay, what was before that? What was after that? What was that number five? Uh, Justice League, Snyder Cut. Snyder Cut. Would you would you agree that the Snyder Cut is better than Wonder Woman, the first Wonder Woman? I mean, as a okay portrayal. Uh, I mean, the first Wonder Woman. The problem with the first Wonder Woman is the third act. I mean, the first two acts are really good. Sure, but the problem and with then, the Justice League movie is the whole movie. Uh, I mean, it's four hours. Yeah, that's it's kind of, four hours. Pro- anyway, that's continue, tough, yeah. please, go please, ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. Number four, Superman Four: Quest for Peace. <laughs> okay. I, I do kind of like that movie, even though it's like, strangely it stupid, and right? The Suicide good. Squad is number three. Oh, nice. Okay. And then number two is Return of Swamp Thing, and number one is, <laughs> is Babin Returns. Joker, I consider it into a whole another level above all those because it's more of a movie like Taxi Driver and King uh, Comedy than a DC yeah. Movie. Joker, oh. J- Joker doesn't feel so much like a like a like a superhero Carol, movie. comic book movie, like yeah. a comic book movie. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So wow. We're, we've, uh, yeah. I actually like Swamp Thing one better than two, even though two looks better. <laughs> But one felt more like the, a comic I'm book really swamp thing. S- I'm r- listen, I know this is supposed to be a Suicide Squad right. review, but I'm really stuck on the fact that Aquaman is on your <laughs> list of all the things oh, Aquaman. Man. Juan, he makes mm. good stuff. Uh, uh, except, never, except, Aquaman. except Aquaman. Except Aquaman. Especially and the Black Man to fight with all the cameras. Star or, like, Trek Beyond. Uh, anyway, I didn't like Star Trek Beyond, but Aquaman, yeah. I, I still like it. Yeah. Anyway, Suicide Squad. Let's give it a let's give it a rating. Four Who wants star, to go first? Four stars? Out of four stars. Um, so the way we review just a quick synopsis, it's really about, you know, as a movie going experience, ultimately that's what we're looking at. We're not, if, if somebody gets, if so, if a movie gets four stars, it's not because it's perfect. It's because it's a, it's a perfect movie going experience. Yeah. It's, we're listen, it, we're not, we're not the criterion committee it's, here. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. exciting. It makes you feel something. It checks all the boxes, that kind of thing. Yeah. So with those, with that being said, I, I would give this four stars. Four. Yeah. What? Yeah, it was it, it, it was really entertaining. It made me feel it's, something. It's near what? perfect. Yeah. Oh my! To say that. Oh my God! Because it's a, it's a really good like, comic book dude. movie. It feels like a comic book a for, lot. For, for or, it to be my number three yeah. favorite DC movie, yeah. it has to be near perfect. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is now an elite. movie. So you gave it four. This is yep. an elite movie. I also give it four. Wow. Because, yeah, I think because that's the first time. It, no, I think we had given another movie. All uh, of us. All gave of us gave, gave a movie a four. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember which one. It might have been a couple episodes ago. Yeah. But all of us gave that movie a four. Huh. So like this is like the second one we've given all fours to. Yeah, it hits all the right sort of comic book. Well, I think Psycho Gorman, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think it might have been Psycho Gorman. Yes, it's right up there with Psycho Gorman. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Which um, actually felt sort of like a trauma movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so apparently we just really like trauma movies. I yes. guess so. Um, yeah, this movie is, it is a comic book come to the big screen, it like is, yeah. literally. And it hits all the right boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And it just it's it makes you I care so much more about this about everyone in this movie yeah. than I did in the first one. Yes. I could yeah. give a crap about everyone in the first movie. Um but this movie was it was so different. Like you said, it made you feel mm-hmm. it made you feel for the characters. Yeah. Like it just it and, hit and all it was equal amounts comic yeah. book cheesy, but also still like had serious yeah, stakes. And, yes. and even the stuff that was that mm-hmm. you know, the stuff that's perfunctory, it didn't it didn't feel perfunctory it felt natural and that's rare yeah. I mean, yeah that's rare in a in a story anyway mm-hmm. especially if you've studied storytelling like it's hard to yes you know it's hard but like even you know even i always forget his like, name too killjoy no that's not it uh 
What's his name? Bloodsport. I always forget his name. I'll just think John. I kept saying I kept saying Deadshot. I kept almost saying Deadshot. Um, (laughs) um, You know, even Deadshot's little mini arc with the whole daughter thing. It was like it works, even though you should. I, you know, you see it coming and you know it's going to happen. But even the way it played out, you're like, oh wow, that was really Mm -hmm. natural. It felt right. You mean blood sports or blood sport? Yeah, Yeah. Deadshot. Oh, I said Deadshot. His his uh, his little okay, mini he was, story. Yeah, he was yeah. supposed to With be the dead first Suicide Shot, Squad so. movie. It somehow made me not care about Killer Croc, who's one of my favorite Batman villains. Yeah, I'm like, how could a movie do that? Then I look at and then I look at. I the, liked King at, Shark. At the Suicide Squad, I'm like, wow, I care about every member here, <laughs> right. even the expendable even Polka ones. Dot Man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. even the expendable ones. Actually, more so, I think Polka Dot Man is one of my favorite characters in this yeah, movie. Yeah, he was he was good. He yeah. was really good. Yeah, he was. he was such a sympathetic. You felt so bad for him. Yeah. And whenever yeah. he did anything that was like co- competent, it was like, yeah, yeah, Hell you yeah. go, you go, polka dot man. Yeah. And then he cared. He was the only one that cared for the poor guy that just followed him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Even Bloodsport was like, he was still with us. Yeah. I'm like, why did he oh, follow that, us? That whole scene. Because they took his gun away yeah, too. And they're like, no, 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 you're not going. Yeah. That whole scene where they were like, they killed Milton. They're like, who? <laughs> who? Yeah. Who? Even I was like, the the guy, the driver is like yeah. on the team now, and then he just gets shot and yeah. dies. And he's yeah. like. like yeah. yeah, I cared about Milton. I wanted Milton to do something. Yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, guys. definitely Any, four four stars all yeah, around. It's a top tier movie. It's yeah, a top tier sure. movie. It's an elite movie. I should probably go it's back and see what we rated everything. So we can. I think Psycho that. Gorman is the only movie, the only other movie yeah. that we yeah, gave. Yeah. All we all gave four stars yeah. to. Um, all right, let's get out yeah, of here. Yeah, so this all was right. this was a good movie. Definitely go watch it. Any before we go, any more recommendations of any kind? Uh, uh, no, go, not go. really. I've been busy with other stuff. These go see weeks, the Green Knight. So, yeah, the Green Knight. Oh, oh yeah, Knight. that's uh, from what I heard. It's like yeah, Green Knight really is true. really Dev good. Patel, right? Yeah. He's, yes. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a really good movie. Uh, it's a uh, just so that you know, it's not like some action-packed action packed uh, action fantasy movie. It's, it's it is a very fantasy it is drama. Yeah, it's very s- slow and methodical, but in a very good way. And the cinematography is gorgeous. It's a great movie. I enjoyed nice. it very much. So nice. do go see Green Knight. All right. Anything else? You got anything? Mm, don't know anything. Any at the plugs? Moment. Oh, my plugs. Uh, I I occasionally show up at the show Token Toku Titan Cast on Titan Goji's channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have my own YouTube channel, and yeah, that's about nice. it. Nice. Is that under Daikaiju Tony? Yeah. All right. Cool. The Daikaiju Tony channel? Uh, yeah. 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 All right, I'm gonna go subscribe right now. I got to see what you talk about. All right, and that's it for tonight. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah. So we uh were. We're done. There you go. Four stars. Top tier movie. Go watch it. Oh, yeah, uh, it remember, it yeah. Remember, uh, remember to follow us um, on on YouTube. You can subscribe. Yeah, you can hit the bell icon to like, notify you whenever like, we get new episodes. Yeah. yeah. Drop a comment about uh, what you thought of the movie. I would love to know what your thoughts. Yes. Yep. Yeah. If you disagree with us, let us know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, for that, uh, we will see you guys later. All right. Good night. Good night. I.